What is going on, everybody? My name is Nico. Welcome back to another Regulation G video. Today, we are rocking Ho-Oh, baby. And this is a pretty cool-looking Ho-Oh team. I don't think Ho-Oh is that great, necessarily, in Regulation G. But it is a fun Pokemon, nonetheless, with the Regenerator ability, same as Amoongus. Very cool stuff can happen with this particular Pokemon. So we got it with Torn here for Sunny Day and Tailwind. I think Sunny Day is very nice next to Ho-Oh. I think Ho-Oh is going to be really solid next to Groudon whenever we get double Restricteds. And then the rest of the team is just kind of like fun stuff like we have Gujar here with shelter and body press which is pretty spicy Rillaboom Primarina and Chien Pao so we got that fire water grass core that's gonna be really solid the Chien Pao obviously boosting the attack stat for the Ho-Oh in battle very cool stuff here with this team this team comes from Mr. Cretastic in the discord and if you're not already sub for more stuff like this and answer the question Lugia or Ho-Oh but let's get into some battles Lugia we got a battle of the birds is Lugia a bird? I don't know. I'm assuming that's a Watershifu. I'm going to say that's Watershifu. I kind of want to lead my Chen Pao with my Rillaboom. Do I, though? I kind of am leaning a lot towards this. What's the Terra? That Amoongus is a problem. That's for sure. I'm still I'm thinking these two. Ho-Oh in the back. And then rounding it out, I'm thinking we're going to bring our Torn. Just for the speed control. Just for the speed control. I think we need it. Amoongus and Lugia. I think we have to go for the Amoongus here. Lugia is actually going to swap. Do they terrestrialize? Could be the Incineroar coming in. Nope, it's the Urshifu. Oh, double swap. Now the Incineroar is likely coming in. Okay. Mm, we missed the Icicle Crash. That sucks. So I think I go for the wood hammer and I go for the sacred sword. Okay, they go for the fake out. And they're just actually going to U-turn right back out. And they're going to U-turn into... Okay. Sacred sword connects. Good damage. They are buried. Rillaboom flinches. And we just get the recovery off here. We can safely swap in Ho-Oh here. And I think we just protect. We can safely swap the Ho-Oh and just protect this turn. Because they're not going to spore into the Ho-Oh slot, right? They're not going to spore into Rillaboom. They are going to Terrasilize. Incineroar, though. Okay. That works. They protect the Amoongus. They went for the Flare Blitz. That's fine. Now, if I were a betting man, they're going to swap out that Amoongus. They're going to swap that very hard. So, I think I just go for Icicle Crash. I think I go for Icicle Crash and I go for a Sacred Fire on the Incineroar slot. They actually are withdrawing the Incineroar. I was not expecting this. Do they read me like a cheap novel? 
No, they double swap again. That's fine. Because now we break multi-scale, which is nice. That's good damage. Are they their weakness policy? Okay. Sacred Fire connects. And Lugia goes down before they can even use their weakness policy, so we'll take that. Nice. Very nice. Incineroar is going to come in. I'm just going to swap in my Rillaboom here. And what do I want to do? I'm not going to Sucker Punch. I don't get a whole lot out of that. I'm just going to go for an Icicle Crash here. We're going to get in the Rillaboom. When they fake out the Rillaboom, that's fine. And they Surging Strikes the Rillaboom, which is perfect. Icicle Crash does connect. Not gonna do, like, any damage, yeah. Grass goes away. And I'm gonna get in my Tornadus now. I'm gonna get in my Torn. And I'm gonna set Sunny Day. Could also just go for a Bleak Wind. Mm, I'm kind of tempted to go for this Bleak Wind. And swap in Ho-Oh. Nah, I don't want to swap in Ho-Oh yet. Gosh, this is tough. I'm going to go for Sunny Day. And I am going to get in Ho-Oh. The Sunny Day will protect me from potential Surging Strikes. Weather is set. Surging Strikes goes off into Torn. Bright side is where Rocky helmed. Good damage. They do go for the parting shot, which is a touch unfortunate. Amoongus comes in. We go for a Bleak Wind Storm here, and we Terrasilize now. We finally Terrasilize. We go for the Sacred Fire into the Amoongus slot. Because <clears throat> they likely switch Incineroar back in. Yep. Incineroar is going to come back in to Intimidate again, so we're just going to go for the Terrasilization to avoid the Spore. A very balanced centered team, I gotta say. Very balanced Lugia team. So we get the Terrasolization off. That's gonna save us from Spore. Okay. Little chip onto Ensign.
Let's just double protect this turn. There's no reason not to. Because they have access to fake out, so there's no reason to play the fake out game this turn. They go for the Flare Blitz. Makes sense. And they go for the Spore. So I think what we do now is we go for a Bleak Wind and we go for a Sacred Fire onto the Incineroar. That's good damage onto both Pokemon. Critical hit on an instant's big for us. I don't think the speed drop's necessary. Sacred Fire in the sun. Incineroar goes down. They can't Flare Blitz me now. Beautiful. Beautiful. They go for the Pollen Puff. Not today. Sorry about your luck. It's a touch unfortunate for you, I know. And they bring in their Urshifu. Uh, now we go for a Tailwind. And we go for... Brave Bird onto their Urshifu. Oh, that's fine. Oh, we're grass. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Down goes the Urshifu. And we are going to secure this game. Sunlight fades. But all we do is reset sun and go for the Sacred Fire. And that'll be the end of that game. Okay, yeah, you Rage Powder away, little Amoongus. You Rage Powder all day long. Down goes Amoongus. Ho-Oh takes a dub, baby. GG. Terrapagos. We are Terra Flying, but I don't think that saves us necessarily from this Terrapagos, which is the scary part of the operation. Um, Looks like they want to set Trick Room. I'm going to lead Ho-Oh and Tornadus. In the back, I'm going to bring my Chen Pao. And... I want to bring probably Rillaboom. Gudra's not bad either. Gudra could be pretty decent here. I think I bring Gudra. Alright. This is fine. I'm just gonna go for Bleak Wind and I'm gonna go for Sacred Fire. I'm gonna do all the damage I possibly can to Furigarath. They go for Snarl, okay. Oh my gosh. I tell you guys what, I cannot hit Bleak Wind Storms today. I've recorded like three videos now. I cannot touch a single Bleak Wind Storm on the po Pokemon that matters. Citrus Berry goes off. Do they trick room? I mean, if I look on the bright side of this, though. Like, if I really look on the bright side of this. Like, it, do it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to go for another Bleak Wind here. And I'm actually going to go for a Sacred Fire. Hmm. Yeah, I think I Bleak Wind. And I will Sacred Fire onto the Chiyu. Oh, they go for Deagle. I was not expecting that. Sacred Fire the Chiyu. They hold on just barely. We need to hit the Chiyu now. Bleak Wind connects. Good stuff.
cool. We like this. Uh, is this the Terrapagos? Yes. They do Terra Shift on the Terrapagos. We go for another Bleak Wind here, and this turn I am tempted to just protect. How many more turns of Trick Room are there? Three? I could also swap. That's an option. I'm going to get in my Hoodra. I'm going to swap. I'm going to break Terra Shell. And I'm going to go for big damage with the Hoodra. That's what I'm going to do. D-Gleam goes off. Take that just fine. They go for Calm Mind. That's fine. I can't hit anything. Okay, good. We hit something. It was just the Terra Shell activating. That's fine. Down goes the Farigarath. They're going to recover with leftovers. That's fine. I mentioned this before, but this is the problem with their Terrapagos. It's Sinistra. I, I kind of figured it would be. This is the problem with Terrapagos is you're almost forced to... Um, how many more turns of Trick Room? Two? Yeah, you're kind of forced into having to Terrastalize it, which puts it in such an awkward position. I'm going to call their bluff. I'm going to say they're going to go for an Earth Power this turn, and they're not going to Terrastalize, and I'm going to Protect. Might be a bad choice. Nope, they're going to Terrastalize. Okay. This is fine. See, now that the. But it's like they're forced into this scenario, you know? They have to terrestrialize. It's so bizarre. It's a really weird Pokemon. Macha Gacha goes off. Terra Star Storm. Gonna take out my. Uh, Tornadus. I'm going to get Chen Pao in. Chen Pao's going to come in. Um, and I'm going to protect this turn. <clears throat> and I'm going to go for a heavy slam onto their Sinistra. I need to get rid of the Sinistra because when Trick, goes, Trick Room goes down the next turn, I don't need it going back up. So my objective here is to get it low enough that I can Icicle Crash it and kill it. Alright, they didn't get a burn, which is good. They did not get the burn. Oh, they did on my Hoodra. Okay, I lied. They definitely got the burn. That's brutal. Honestly, if you could just KO Hoodra, I think I'm in a better position to win this game. Nope, not quite. Okay. Now, the unfortunate circumstance is that we're running Icicle Crash and we're not running Ice Spinner. So, it all comes down to a roll. Um, we are just going to go for Body Press. Icicle Crash connects. Thank the Lord Almighty. 
Down goes the Sinistra. They can't reset Trick Room. Thank the Lord. They are going to go for the Terra Star Storm. Owie. Body Press is going to do a little bit of chip. Not a lot of chip. A little chip. My Leftovers is going to proc. Okay, so now what we do is we just protect Chen Pao this turn, and we go for another Body Press. We go for another Body Press. They go for Terra Star Storm, and that's fine. Because I could have gone for Sacred Sword this turn, but I want the extra damage for my Ho-Oh the subsequent turn. I really want that extra damage. Alright, it all comes down to this. Can Ho-Oh do enough? We get in the Ho-Oh. And we go for Sacred Sword. And we are going to click Brave Bird because it is more power, more accurate, and we get a stab on it as well. So this is going to just be better. It all comes down to this. They may protect this turn to get Lefty's Recovery. That's definitely in the cards. They could protect. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be tricky. I hope that this is just going to do enough. It is a very bulky Pokemon. And it gets a little scary here. They're still thinking. I don't know what they're thinking about, but they're thinking. What do we do here? What do we do? I think I've got you locked, but I'm not positive of it. I'm like 85% positive that we're going to do it. Battle was canceled. All right. We got it. GG. Ooh, Kyogre. Kyogre, Kyogre. I still think... Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What Terra are we on Ho-Oh? Grass. We are Grass. Okay. I'm thinking Prim is pretty solid. With the Rillaboom. Also fairly solid here. And then I can bring Ho-Oh in the back. And I'm kind of tempted to bring Chen Pao. But I think I do want Tornadus because I need to match the speed control. Because I probably are bringing... Ah, uh, the Prankster Tailwind here. And the leads will be... Watershifu! Well, I'm pretty happy with this. Honestly, we got a pretty good-looking lead here. Pretty good-looking lead, if I do say so. Um, I'm gonna go for Hyper Voice and just go for a Fake Out this turn. Oh, they just went for Helping Hand. Okay, was not expecting that. They could be going for U-Turn into my Rillaboom. Ice Spinner. All right. Was not expecting that. Get the Throat Spray proc. Um, alright. I'm just gonna go for a Moonblast then. In that case. And I could rotate, but I just don't think it's worth it. Um, I think I just go for a Wood Hammer. They could also Encore me. They are gonna Encore me. Okay. They are gonna go for another Ice Spinner. That's fine. Hyper Voice goes off. I'm very okay with this. That is a crit. That is going to be very beneficial. Um, We are Steel as well, and I'm, I'm a fan of that. I'm going to swap now. Tornado's going to come in. What comes in on their side? It is the Kyogre. Okay. 
Well, we just go for another... I guess we go for Hyper Voice, because we have to. Um, and I am going to drop the Sunny Day. I'm going to drop the Sunny Day. This is going to weaken my Prim, which is a touch scary for us. Not going to lie. Kyogre Terra Water, that is really strong. It's so strong. Sunny Day is going to go off. Ice Spinner is going to connect. We definitely are losing Torn this turn. Luckily, with the Rocky Helmet ship... Ooh, okay. With the Rocky Helmet ship, we're still okay. Because we should still take out the Urshifu regardless now. We get in Ho-Oh. What's the last Pokemon they got? Lando. Okay. I'm gonna Terra up. And I'm gonna go... Oh, I'm still locked. That complicates the issue. Definitely complicates things for sure. I'm not going to Terra this turn. They're going to go for the Origin Pulse. Oh my gosh, that did stupid damage. Oh, they crit me. That's why. Sludge Bomb is going to connect. We just need to take one. We don't. Okay. Alright, that Encore was tough. Sacred Fire. In the Sun does take it. Alright. I think I have to Terra and go for a Recover this turn. It's the only hope. the only hope of me winning this they go for a water spout in the sun resisted doesn't matter gg that's tough very cool team mr critastic i like the ho a lot it actually did a ton of damage it did way more damage than i was anticipating regenerator super nice as always it's good on every pokemon it's on it's just a great ability and the rest of the team very very fun as well i like the addition of the hoodra love seeing a hoodra here and there but if you guys enjoy the video sub if you're not already and if you want to share reg g teams to be featured here on the channel in the future check out the discord but until next time peace